going to attack him from behind. Here we go. Take him out. Take him out. Nice. Hello, and in today's video, we're going to be playing a Grim Realm. So I've set myself a challenge for this. So we're going to generate a new map, and I'm going to be playing on the hardest difficulty with just one lone survivor. Let's generate a new world. And this scenario we're playing on, this one brave soul. So you start with only one person, a seasoned veteran with a goal to survive, not for beginners. Okay, so this is the world that I've just created, Hugio. Uh, the year's 1531, and we need to pick a starting position. So let's pick a... I'll probably pick somewhere there so it's more accessible. We'll probably get more people to come to do some trade with us and... Uh, every day between events is 2.89 and it's cool at the minute. Let's create a faction. And this is my starting character here, Dia Eat Foodie. Great name. And he is a assassin. Okay, so let's just randomize all this. Randomize my faction name. The seaweeds, we'll go with that. Randomize my coat of arms. I don't like that one. We'll go with that one. That one's pretty cool. Okay. Let's generate the world. All right, so we're in the game. This is my character here, Dia. And we need to collect some resources first. Let's see what we've got first. So we've got a bit of wall, coal, wood. Got some iron ingots, uh, herbal medicine, tasty cow cheese, and tasty bread. Okay. So we're going to have to do everything, my guys. So let's grab some resources. Let's clear this out. Some more wood, grab some copper ore there, and then what I might do is just start digging down here and start building my base underneath. Let's just speed that up a little bit. Run it at six. Oh, okay, so we've got a notification here. So, hair's been spotted. Oh, let's go kill that hair because we can get some meat from that. Could tame it. No, we'll hunt it, we'll mark it for hunting. Right, let's have a quick look at work priorities for my guys. So let's have a quick look at stats. So perks he's got is proficiency with daggers to so he deals 20% extra damage per rank. Grim 2, 20% resistance to psychic damage, backstab, three times more damage when attacking a human from behind. And he is energetic as well, so he recovers his energy quicker. And this is my armor. I've got a lot of cow leather on at the minute. And I've got a Masterwork Steel Dagger. And I've got a skill modifier of 100% on that. So that's pretty cool. And a Shoddy Steel Dagger. Okay, so, yeah. So, the maximum you get is 10. So he's guitar at fighting. With ranged and melee. And nothing else, really. Uh, two on building and two on mining. But, yeah, there's no need for set them up. Because he's, only, he's on his own anyway. So, let's... Grab these resources and I'll start digging. I'll set them now actually, so if I've got a wooden ladder. Going on here, no place to store raw materials. Okay, that's fine. So I need to make a storage. All right, so let's start mining this away here. All right, we'll make a little room. Get rid of that one. Make, it, make a little room there and we can start putting storage in that down there then oh, I think that's enough for now let's start digging this because I need to build a storage so you start mining oh, that's great I've got a copper boulder in my way so we're going to have to get that out of the way first so let's mine that I can't, actually can't reach the location ok fair enough I tried to go hunting but couldn't find a rage weapon. Okay. So let's change that. Let's start digging down here. Let's get rid of them. We'll do it this way. Oh, there we go. Alright, so while, so this rabbit's trying to attack me. Let's take this rabbit out. There we go. Alright, you build that. Let's 
Go with that last one and then we can start mowing. We'll make this into like a little room. Start putting my bed and that down. No, let's get rid of all of this. And let's place a bed, but I need some straw. Okay, we've got a rabbit hole here. I might not be a rabbit, it might be rats. Yeah, it's rats. Oh, okay, take them out. There we go. Carry on mining. And then we'll put a stockpile down here. Build a big stockpile to store more resources. What's that? Silver or is it? No, iron ore. You can mine that as well. for now. Right, well, let's build this storage area. And then I need to find some grass because I need some straw for that bed. Um, oh, there we go. Clear the resources here. Right, there we go. So we've got some storage area now anyway. So it's got somewhere to start putting our uh, resources. Can't reach that location. Okay, yeah, it's because that's in the way, isn't it? So I need to get rid of that first. So let's go and mine that bowl down, then I can put a uh, ladder on here. And I can get up there. Alright, you build that. Grab some straw now. At least we can get a bed down. Uh, we've got a passage here, passage north and south. Let's go and have a look over here. No, there's nothing over there. Nothing over here. No. Right, let's go build that. Okay, then grab the straw. At least I've got a bed then. I do need to rest actually, so what are we looking at? Yeah, I'm absolutely exhausted. I think what I'll do, I'll probably just mine a little room here so I can start putting some workbenches and smelters down. And these rats here, I could always set them to learn a bit more about them as well. So let's select them. I select all of them. Oh, it's just chilling on a rock at the minute. Yes, yeah, so my mining's gone up to four now. to him. I don't know why it hasn't done it automatically, but he owns that bed now. So you get in there, let's get some more straw. Oh, come on, you're in there. Time to rest. Very tired at the minute. I'll tell you what I could do. I'll just build a chair as well because that gives me 100% uh, recovery as well. So sit on the chair instead of a rock. There you go. Right, so it's dissecting that rat now. Uh, new information about the giant rat is now available. Okay, so at 10% at the minute. Let's build a room in 
back here and then we can start what we found. Ah, so we just found a treasure chest. Let's see what's in there. So we've got a decent stone sculpture and a fine wood sculpture. Alright, let's put the wood one there. Let's put the stone one. Let's clear some area here, at least I can start getting some um, benches down. We have a stove as well to start cooking some food. How much food have we got left? Uh, 15 cheese and 14 bread. Okay. Got some iron ore there as well, let's get rid of that. I'll probably take this all the way over here. looking he's very exhausted and it's getting late so it's probably time to go to sleep huh? there we go all right so it's a strange ethereal and echoing voice speaks to your settlers like the like the ancient structure which lies buried at the utmost depth do uh, depth do this and i shall visit you okay where is that I need to find that i seen it's all the way down there somewhere you can hear it when you go down you can hear a lot of the power from it Right, how's the recovery looking? Not great. Let's have a quick look at the map. Uh, there's my camp. Got nothing else on the map at the moment. The recovery is not great. What is it for about 70%? Yeah, 75%. And wooden chair would be better for him to sit down to recover. Well, let's place some of these workstations down anyway. So, let's put a. I'll put a stove here. Start cooking. Once I find some animals, I can start cooking the meat. Uh, we've got a woodworking bench. Put that one there. Panning station. I haven't got any skin for that yet. Um, smelter. Put the smelter there, and I do need a smithy to craft some better weaponry. So put that one there. Uh, research table. We'll put that this side there, and a herbalist table. We'll put that. Put that there for now. We'll start crafting some healing items for that then. Speed this up a bit. That masterwork steel dagger do play so damage on that is three hundred and eight. Okay, so that's decent. Come on, are you going to wake up? There we go. We do with healing, to be fair. Oh, let's go healing. There we go, I've got, got a nice fine wood sculpture there. Granite chestnut. Let's get some iron ore, at least I can start smelting that then. But I am missing uh, some stone, so I need to go gather some stone. Let's get rid of that resource there. I can't reach that at the minute. There's some stone there, he keeps sitting on it. Let's get rid of that. Got a chair to sit on now. So I think if I just build my base under the mountain there, because that will reduce my visibility. So my visibility at the minute is zero at the minute. So I've got zero visibility, so zero events. 2.85 days between 
events, but I'm not sure if that'll happen because my visibility is zero. When you build on the top here, that's when your visibility goes up. Oh, come on then, what are you doing? I want you to... What is that? Research table. Right, go and build a research table. Working bench, and then we'll get you to build. No, I haven't got enough for that one. What do I need? Oh, I need some stone, don't I? I'll find some stone. A woodworking bench, I couldn't build. Oh, there we go, some stone there. It's got a bow shield and a club, so I don't really need them at the minute. I can't get to that stone. Let's put a ladder on there. How's he going at the minute? What's he doing? Fall into storage. There we go. Right, let's go and build that. this stone. There you go, I should have enough to build this smelter now then. I need iron ingots as well, 10. So how many of them have I actually? Yeah, I've got enough for them as well. So, ingots, so I can start smelting some ingots. So, iron, got 11 at the moment, so let's make five lots of them. I do need some more stone as well, so if I go down here, there should be stone down there. So, go down this way, do another level. Probably want to go to sleep soon, yeah, there you go. Uh, we look at mental state is stable, healthy, he's very hungry at the minute and he's exhausted. So my skills have gone up anyway, so my mining skills on six, build has gone up to three. Let's cancel them because I can't reach them anyway. Probably go down here and then start to go underneath what we'll do actually. So I've got to start building all the way down there as well. I've got an access there and there then as well because I need, I need some meat really. I need to get some uh, animal skins so I need to find another, another hole, another animal. Then. What do I need for that? I need a copper ingot for that as well, so smart a couple of copper ingots as well. And at least I can build the herbalist table then. So we found a natural cavern, but there's nothing in there. Get rid of them. Work my way around here. I will do. I'll get rid of all of them there, actually, as well. So hopefully, I can find some, like an animal burrow as well. Exhausted. Yeah, it's gonna sit down now, so I should get 100% recovery for that. Yeah, it goes up really fast. And then what I might do, 
all start branching out into this area over here. We got there. Uh, iron ore. Yeah, another iron boulder there. Another cabin over there. I can't reach that. Alright, so let's build a ladder on there. Alright, he's just having some food at the minute. Yeah, he does need to heal up as well, so let's heal him up again. We've got anything to heal, yeah, we've got decent herbal medicine. We've got three of them left. Let's wait for him to wake up. Okay, so we've got a, an event here. A few undead approaches from the passage north. Okay, right, so let's go and take them out. I'll wait till he sleeps, wait till he wakes up. How many is there? Three. I could take three of them on. And he does better from behind, so what I might do is just stay here. I'll wait till they go over there and not sneak up behind them if I can. Speed this up a little bit. Wait till he's recovered. Are they going to come down? No. Okay. Let's go and take. I'm coming back here. Right, okay, let's wait here. See what happens, see what they do. He's walking back that way. Got both of them are going past there. Right, let's go. Go and attack him. From behind. Here we go. Took him out, take him out. Nice. Where's this other one? Let's go finish him off. Go and attack him. Mm. There we go. I'll oh, just gain some more loyalty with that, and the current undead threat is no more. So, skills, so my loyalty's gone up to three now. Okay. Right, go and heal yourself. Minus one, yes, it's going to do it now, I think. Is it? Yeah, so it's going to tend to his wounds. And then I'll build that copper ore actually. At least I can get a herbalist table then. To start farming these bits to turn them into, uh, into healing items. So let's go do that copper ore first. Speed that up. Right, lone visit approaches from the passage north. Okay, right, so let's try and recruit him. Who is it? Unknown woman appears to be very cautious. Right, let's go and talk to them. I don't know how this is going to pan out because I don't think I'm any good at interaction. So, what my skills are. Yeah, social lines on zero at the minute, so it might not go well. Right, I'll finish his copper and then I'll go talk to it. There we go. I've just gone one up for my smithy now as well, so I'm on number two. So go put that in the storage, and then you go and talk to this one. Yeah, this goes. No. No, I didn't think it'd work. Dear eat food he could not get through to the visitor, whom decides to leave the area. We go and kill him. I don't think he'd have anything on him. I'll leave him. I'll let him run. Right, so the copper ore, did I get smart copper ore, didn't I? Yeah, I haven't got enough resources. So. Oh, 
Oh, I smell any copper ingot. Oh, let's go for that. Let's start smelting. Go look at my smithing, so it's two at the minute. No, no, no. I don't want you to do that. I want you to finish doing that. Three copper ore, right? Let's go and make five of them. There we go. And then I should have enough to build the research, uh, the herbalist bench. Then one copper ore. How many do I need? What's it saying? I haven't got any. Let's build that again. Over this bench there. Okay. There you go. It's working now. No, it's not. I don't know. Right, let's have that unlimited anyway. Right, let's go do some mining. What we found? There we go. It's got some copper all there. Let's mine that. tired at the minute. But we're getting better at mining now, so the skill's on seven. Why is this taking so long? Right, mine that. There you go. Want to mine nothing, by look at it. better at medicine now because I've just healed myself so let's dissect these so I can learn about these and then I, if we do find a baby one we can tame it. Right, let's dissect them. Yeah, he's gone for a sit down. cobweb as well so I can get some I can make silk out of that. Right so what else we got? We've got a leather working station, let's put that there. Tanning station, let's put the tanning station there. Got a sewing station as well so let's put the sewing station there. And let's have a look at more research. So what do I need for research really? Herbalism, so I can plant healing herbs. Or cave mushrooms. Well, I'm running low on food supplies at the minute, so then cave mushrooms would probably be a good show. Let's research cave mushrooms. What I do, I think I'll just start working my way down here so I can find some um, undead. Right, so let's put a ladder down there, ladder down this way, mine down there, and I'll branch off into here, have a look around here, see what's about, and he wakes up, 
Oh, it's nearly there. It's fully replenished. Let's go. Hungry as well. Let's do a bit of research. Let's research them cave mushrooms. I don't need sunlight for them, so I could plant these in one of these little little rooms that I've created. And what we got there? So we've got some herbs there as well. So let's. I don't want to. Let's harvest that one. Got to speed this. Oh, I can only get six, but yeah, it's going so slow because I'm not very good at research. One on research. I need to um, get my socialising up as well. I need to recruit people. Right, how much have you researched? Not much. Okay, so we've got a couple of necromancers approaching now from the passage south. Uh, just the one. Age 70 to 80 necromancer, so this could be deadly. But I'll just carry on doing that until they reach the base and hopefully I can sneak up to them. I might start doing like a ladder here as well, so I've got other exits I can get to. Let that now actually. Probably put one down there. Him. We're gonna have to, he's coming in. We're gonna have to go take him out. There we go. Oh, he got to me, he was still on the ladders. Oh, that's good, I'm bleeding at the minute as well. Oh, so let's go and heal up. And hopefully, he's got some decent loot on him as well. So, this necromancer here. Harvest him as well for meat, which might give me the perk of cannibal. But I don't really need want that because that drops your um, socialising down and not as low as it is anyway. I want to try and recruit people in my colony, so I probably won't harvest him. I will loot him though. See what he's got on him. Uh, before I do that, I will build a cabinet as well there. Well, I'll build that now, actually. Build that cabinet and I'll start putting some uh, weapons and all that in there. Then let's set the, this to weapons and armour. He's got to go heal himself now. How many of them have got left? I'm running low. I've got one. I need this. I need some copper ingots. No, oh, it's not letting me smelt copper ingots. I have to do any, and hopefully, there's a copper ingot on there. doing now so he's going to harvest some crops all right loot him see what he's got Let's have a look see what he puts in there he's got quite a 
a bit on him. Well, what I'll do is let's go and bury him. Let's bury him there. At the passage there, so it's a warning sign to anyone that comes. Right, go and bury him. That shoddy wool hood. And I wanted to put in here a fine wool tunic, decent wool pants, a cloak, and a decent iron short sword. Mine are actually better than that anyway. I'll have a look. I'll have a quick look at my. I've got a fine wool rogue hood. Yeah, so I've got a better one. Leather armour, brown leather pants, leather boots, and a poncho. Yeah, so mine are better at the moment anyway. Masterwork steel dagger. Yeah, mine's better than that. And my offhand body steel dagger. Mm, this one's better than that anyway because the uh, the lay on the attacks a lot better, a lot quicker. Okay. There you go. We got that. Here lies unknown woman. Resources, right? I need to quickly chop down a, a tree. I'll go and chop that tree down, that tree stump. Give me some wood to build a ladder. There we go. Right, let's go and build this. Dissect these spiders. So, new information about cage spiders now available. Okay. It causes poison damage and landing a successful bite. Okay, it's about thirty percent at the minute. Get rid of this ore, and then I need copper. I don't know why it's not letting me do copper. I wonder if I built another one. Well, let's build another one next to it. Let's see what happens. There you go, I don't want you to build that. Let's go build this one. When it is late, I do need to go to sleep. Let's build this quickly. No, now we're looking in my house. I'm exhausted at the minute, yeah, so he does need to go to sleep after this. Yeah, I lost some loyalty. He wants to sleep. Oh, I'll go to bed. So if I set that to copper now, no, I've got copper ore. I make clay, but not copper ore. Oh, there we go. Needs to be working now. Where's he going? He's going to eat. Oh, that iron ore. So let's mine some more of that as well. Wait for him to recover. And then what I will do actually. I'm just gonna do that copper ore. I'll need that. Herbalist table. Gonna do that first. No, we spotted some deer. Oh, have we got copper ore in here? No, bricks. It's done the bricks, but not the copper ore. Oh, let's change that to any. And indefinitely. Same as that. Hmm. 
Is it because of my smelting? More because my smelting skill is only at two. Possibly needs to be at three for copper ore. That's what I could do. Let's, let's make. Yeah, let's make a ton of, ton of bricks. That should give my uh, skill level up. What else is he doing now? He's going to do some research as he's deer. Kill these deer because I can do with their skin actually. Well, let's go mark all them for hunting and take them out in a minute. Are we looking on the mushrooms? So, not even halfway yet. Well, I've become better at researching, so yes, that should go up a bit quicker now. My skill level's going up. Researching's on two at the minute. Accessibility is 60%. I'm on day 7 at the moment. Oh, I think that'll do for now. Let's go and take these deer out. Can't reach the location. Ah, I need to put... On there. Tell you what, I'll put an improvised rope. Oh, I can't put an improvised rope. And if I take that corner out. Okay. So let's go take that corner out. I can use an improvised rope then. That doesn't cost anything. Take this deer out. There we go. I've well, harvested the deer now as well. I've got some more meat and some food for me. I'm going to take this one out as well. And where's that other one gone? Where's the other one? What did he kill two of them? Let's kill two of them. Well, let's harvest the meat anyway. Some deer skin there as well, so that's good. Well, so how much meat have we got? Uh, storage is full on that one. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I've got enough meat anyway. Let's start cooking some meat once I run out of the uh, cheese and bread. Let's go make some bricks to get my um, skill level up. Let's upgrade that as well so we can get more storage. Let's go to do some more research then. So I'm nearly at the mushrooms actually as well. So I can put some mushrooms down here. have we got yes yeah, so i've got 51 copper ore okay so we've got some hairs that have been spotted as well have a look at them might be able to tame them maybe yeah oh, let's tame that there go for it can't because my hunting's not oh it's hunting three okay so i'm gonna have to take it out let's abort that and let's Mark that for hunting. What's my hunting skill level at too? Yeah, so I need, need to do a bit more hunting before I can actually tame some animals. Right, so I've lost some loyalty here. Which is not good. Right, let's get off that. Go to bed, go to sleep. Where's he going? Go to eat.
But should be nearly done now, yeah, so I've nearly got the mushrooms. What I might do actually is, right, so if I branch off under here, I can have just like a stretch of mushrooms under here. I think they take, what, about five days to, um, to grow. Right, so I've got my mushrooms. I need... Probably better if I actually do my skills actually, or do anything else. Yeah, let's do my ta carrying technique. And some mushrooms. So instead of doing that, you can go and do mine in here. So I can have a little stretch of mushrooms here. Covered some coal as well. Well, that'll do for now. You're going to do whatever you're going to do. You do need to heal up as well. And it's going to get something to eat. Okay, you do that, and I will plant. So you have to take seven days, not five. So I need to make a. farming zone under here. I'll do a farming zone all the way across there. To be able to plant these mushrooms. Maybe there's not enough space, okay. Let's get rid of that layer as well. storage so I can get 40 in that now. Well, let's try that then. So can I put a mushroom down there now? No. Why? It's because it's on stone isn't it? Of course it is. That needs to be under here doesn't it? Okay. Fair enough. Get rid of that, don't need that anymore. Get rid of that, there's no point going across there now because I need to do it. What I will do, I might just make it like a layer under there of mushrooms. I'm just doing a bit of research now, a bit of carrying capacity. That increased mob villages carrying capacity from 10 to 13. Let's go do a bit of smelting. I need to hit that level 3. Make as many bricks as I can. Yes, it goes up quite a lot actually. I'm going to do a couple of them. I should hit level 3, I should be able to make copper then. Oh, we've got that. A low visit approaches from the west. This one does not look like a commoner. Okay, who is he? A no man, a 60 to 70. Appears to be cautious. Right, let's go and talk to him. Probably ain't got to go down very well because I'm not very good at socialising. One more. Well, let's go and talk to him, see what happens. He might be like a necromancer or something. I don't know, see how this goes down. we a long conversation anyway.
up there, so that hair below there. Sleep in it the minute. I'll go take that out in a minute as well, get some more meat, get my hunting skill level up. Oh, we nearly finished talking to him. What he's got to say. No, the visit at night felt that the bonds with your, within your faction are not strong enough. Average loyalty less than six and decides to leave. Okay, so that's decreased my socialising as well. I'll see you later then, mate. You don't want to join me. What's he doing? He's going to eat. Any clay. Got to be doing all the socialising. Oh well. I'll right, wait for him to finish and then I'll probably go and take the uh, take that rabbit out. And we've got some more herbs here as well, so what are they are. Harvest them, harvest them. More there, let's harvest them. I'm just going to take this rabbit out. And I've reached the location. Okay, so I need to pop one of these uh, improvised ropes down. Put that down and then go and hunt this hare. It and they've still got some hair skin there that will come in handy. that so what can do while he's researching actually let's put a farming zone on here so, you go finish more than these Mushrooms down here now. Yeah, there we go. Right, so let's fill these with cave mushrooms. I'll give you a bit more supply of food. And can make a iron ingot. Or copper. Might support that one. No. and heal yourself. Oh, we're looking, he's very tired at the minute. And my hunting went up. Yeah, it went up slightly, but not by much. I'm gonna go heal himself. I wonder how many of them I've got left, actually, how many? None. 
was my last one. I need these copper ingots. Let's plant some mushrooms. Right, so it's slightly bad way at the minute. I do need to heal up, but I've got nothing to heal with. I need to build this herbalist table. Copper ingot, which I haven't got. Really annoying. I was waiting for him to wake up. Right, not, not enough resources to complete. Okay, yeah, so I've got them left. I can't heal up anymore. Right, let's go make some ingots. Hopefully there's a copper one. Put the old smith in too, so that's nearly gone up now as well. well let's do another one. Right, so skills gone up for smithing, so I should have smithing three now, yeah. It's just making some bricks at the minute. Right, I support that. Let's try and put that herbalist table down again. this table there. We're looking on storage. Yeah, I got plenty of storage. of it down anyway. Right, so we've got some visitors, group of visitors approaches from the west. Right, where are they coming from? Oh, there we go. So we've got two here. So they want to raid. Maybe. And we've got a carry out here, so they trade us. So I might be able to buy some, um, I might be able to buy a copper ingot off of actually, so just build that research, uh, the herbalist table. Oh, let's go and talk to them. Not very good, so uh, socialising, so we'll see how this goes. I've been talking for a while. Ah, oh, that went, that went better, so hopefully that's put my socialising skill up. Yeah, so it's gone up slightly. Uh, the visitor introduced himself as Caspian Tata. He seems open to further discussions. Right, there's no point offering a faction membership because he won't take it. He's here to trade, so do some trading. See what he's got.
Well, that's what they got then. The salad wall, chicken skin, elixir of compassion, a decent steel sculpture. Uh, this artwork depicts a historical figure for some viewers. It can be positive effects, which is increasing loyalty or decreasing trauma. I have put others the opposite effect maker. Uh, okay. Bread, iron, and bread. You haven't got any ingots for me, and I've only got 10 silver at the minute. I haven't even got enough to buy anything. <laughs> no, I haven't got enough for anything. Okay. Alright, forget that. Oh good. I wonder if we did offer him a faction. Let's try it. Let's try and offer him a faction membership, see if he wants to join me. Come on, join the cause. Aspian. No. He's not wish to join your faction. He and his group are here for trading. Okay. I wonder if I can actually... Sell them anything, so let's do some trade. Let's go back to him, see if he wants to buy anything off me. Yeah, to sell items, open any storages, or use the top resources. Okay, so what he's got, I'll sell him. Got some clothes off that ne uh, the uh, necromancer I could sell. Short sword, I could sell that. Sell that for 10 shoes. Four wool shoes, sell them. Let's sell wool pants. Sell that tunic. Sell the hood. And let me sell. Sword. I can sell that for one silver and 23 bronze. Okay, yeah, I'll sell that. But the, it, right, so I've got up on a skill level for trading now, that's good. Okay, so fabrics, uh, bricks. I can sell the bricks. It won't give me much for the bricks anyway, right? Let's not sell the bricks. Uh, Stone, he probably won't give me much for stone either. Copper ore. 18 iron ingots, how much will he give me for that? Is that it? 6 silver and 10 bronze. Ten. Oh, okay, yeah, sell that, let's go for it. Right, so I've got a bit more now, let's have a look, see what he's got for me. I've got 17 silver and 86 bronze. And I could buy... Bread, I could buy some bread off him. Yeah, go on, we'll buy the bread. Buy all six bread. How much do we need? 90, it's yeah, so at 80. I'll buy four bread. There you go. There you go. There we go. All done. I was doing business for you. No place to store cooked food. Okay, so what I need is one of these barrels. So let's put a barrel there. 
go now. Gotta go and eat. And some deer have been spotted. I can't say no, I still can't say I'm gonna have to hunt them all. Well, let's hunt all of them, mark for hunting. Take them out. Get my skill level up. I'll do that after he's finished. Doing nothing at the minute, so. Might as well go and hunt these deer. What's skill level like? Two. Well, where are you? There you are. Hunt that one. Here we go. Hunt these while they're asleep. And let's kill that last one. Oh, there we go. So, bought them. And what I will do is um, bisect them. We'll learn a bit more about them. There we go. Oh, there, there. Could I kill them in their sleep? Possibly. I don't want to risk it though. I've already got half health. Well, let's go to sleep anyway. What day are we on now then? Uh, settlement day 11. Okay. So not doing too bad. I just need to heal up. I just need some copper ore. Letting me make one now. Fine. And I need, how many do I need? I need one for that. Okay, that's good. Right, I'll wait for him to uh, wake up. We've got some coal down there as well. Let's mine that. Right, what are you doing now then, dear eat foodie? Doing nothing at the minute, right? You go and make that copper ore for me because I need to build this uh, herbal bench. There we go, right? You get straight on that. There we go, lovely. Right, so let's abort that and then. We've got herbal medicine, so we've got six of them, so I can make three. So you make them, and then you can heal yourself. Here we go. Yeah, no place to store cooked food. Okay, so I need to build that barrel as well. So that's gone up again as well. Let's make the last of them. And then I've got more there. I need to harvest them at some point as well. Here we go. Right, you go and heal yourself. up again. And we've got, okay, oh nice, we've so got the leather, we can make leather armour now. What have I got on at the minute, is it leather? Yes, yeah, it's, it's cow leather. Mm, I need the tannery though, I need to dry it out. Well, while I'm there, let's build that so I can 
store some food in there. So if go to the settings on that one. Yeah, store my food in there and medicines as well. Right, you go and heal yourself. And I've only got one left, I need to do these really. Alright, you go and eat first. At least I'm full health now anyway. And then what I could do, I've got quite a lot of meat actually. Start making some meat. Um, I'm okay for food at the minute. Probably do that when I've uh, when I start to run low. Searching. Do any ores on there, so whenever I get a chance, start smelting them away. I do need to build a smithy. Building four, what way up? Quick look at my skills. Building, yes, yeah, so I've got enough skill to build that as well and the tanning station and the sewing station let's speed that up while he's asleep Do I'll go harvest these so I can make some more medicine? Oh, I don't want you doing that. I'll go and harvest this. Okay, and then once he's done that one, we can harvest that one. Then I should have enough for else I've got two, so I can make one more herbal medicine. Let's quickly plant these mushrooms. That only takes seven days, okay. Day, I think. Well, my visibility is low for the um, for the hordes start showing up. And I need to recruit some more people, really. I don't think I'll be able to do it on my own, but you never know. I'm a master assassin. upgrade that as well so when I start doing food I can hold a bit more I've got some silk down there as well so where are we on this right so about halfway go and collect some silk let's build a ladder on there we can find. And I need another ladder there to go pick that silk up. Right, 
towards the iron ore, just discovered some iron ore, so we can mine that as well. And we've got some copper ore as well, alright, let's mine that as well. It's late, so he's gone to sleep. He's gone to sleep early, actually, late 10 o'clock. He's sleeping, I think that's the uh, good time to lead the video here. So, what are we on so far? So, setting my day, so I'm on day 12 at the minute. I've still only got a population of one because I can't actually recruit any, but I've got the foundations down for my base. I've no decent, I've had no real hordes yet. I've had a uh, couple of visitors who rejected me, and a couple of um, I had a necromancer turn up which killed him. So, we'll see how far we can get on the next one.